Hi everyone, I am Pari, a Privacy Director at Sentinel, a privacy consulting and technology company based in Pacific Northwest. Today I am going to give five practical tips to build an efficient privacy risk assessment process. Let's level set before we dive in. What is a privacy risk assessment or PRA? A PRA helps organization analyze and assess privacy risks arising from the processing of personal information. While in some places, completing some type of PRA is legally required. For example, if you are subject to GDPR or CCPA, getting into the habit of considering privacy risk as a part of development of new products or services that use personal information makes good business sense. Over the last few years, I have helped organizations assess privacy risks using existing processes and help develop new processes and questionnaires to appropriately and efficiently highlight key privacy risks and mitigating activities. My approach is to consider privacy risk at three levels. First, the enterprise privacy risk, which is tied to internal or external macro factors. Second, architectural privacy risk, this type of risk which is often overlooked and is tied to inconsistencies in the approach to handling electronic personal data and the impact on effectiveness and efficiency where teams need to reinvent core privacy functionality such as consent mechanism or managing preference, uh, customer preferences. Then third is micro privacy risk, which are often tied to product services or features. The extent of focus on each of these types of risk differ from organization to organization and are often related to their privacy program maturity. My experience is that as companies mature, they move from just looking at the risk tied to a specific product, service, or a feature to then including a consideration of macro organizational privacy risks and then finally coming back to consider privacy architecture. With that context, here are five tips for you to consider as you look at this area within your organization. First, identify existing processes that should trigger a privacy risk assessment. Few of the common areas to review include vendor onboarding, contract renewals, or anything that trigger an information security assessment. Second, when you are building the questionnaire, keep in mind you may have three different kinds if you are subject to GDPR, depending upon the legal basis of processing. Keep it comprehensive. Uh, covering risk associated with each stage of data lifecycle, making all the questions mandatory to avoid incomplete assessment and reduce re uh, review cycles. Third, draft the questionnaire in the business-friendly language. Provide specific guidance for ease of answering. Fourth, keep these risk assessments up to date with change in processing or where additional risk needs to be evaluated as privacy laws change or additional ones come up. Fifth, privacy laws are not only needed for new products and services, but also for any of the existing legacy ones, which may have been existing in your, uh, in your business for years prior to when GDPR or any other privacy laws came into effect. So identify and conduct risk assessments for existing high-risk processing activities and build necessary privacy controls to minimize that risk. Feel free to contact me or Sentinel team if you are looking for support with mitigating privacy risk for your organization. We'll be more than happy to help you and thanks again for watching.